show that the function z equals the cosine of 4x plus 4ct satisfies the wave equation. So this here is the wave equation. So to do this problem, all we have to do is take the partial derivatives and plug it in and verify that the equation is true. Let's start with the left-hand side, taking the partials of z with respect to t. So I'm going to go ahead and write down z again down here. So z equals cosine of 4x plus 4ct. And so when we take the partial here with respect to t, we have to treat all of the x's as constants. So the 4x will be a constant. And we also have to use the chain rule. So this whole piece here on the inside is the inside function. So the partial of z with respect to t. So we take the derivative of the outside function, which is cosine. So the derivative of cosine is negative sine. And then we leave the inside untouched. So 4x plus 4ct. Then we multiply by the derivative of the inside function. So we're taking the derivative with respect to t. So the derivative of 4x is 0, right, because it's a constant. And the derivative of 4ct, think of it as a number times t, like 2t, 3t. So you're just going to get the number, so just 4c. Okay. Then we're going to do it again. I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this and put the c in the front. So negative 4c sine. 4x plus 4ct. Then we take the partial again with respect to t. So now the derivative of sine is just cosine. Okay, so we get negative 4c cosine. Right, the 4c hangs out, it's a constant. 4x plus 4ct. And again, we're taking the derivative with respect to t. So the derivative of 4x is 0. The derivative of 4ct is just 4c. So you get 4c times 4c. That's going to be negative 16c squared times cosine of 4x plus 4ct. All right. So this is going to be the left-hand side, right? That's going to be this piece here. So now we have to find the partial of z with respect to x. I'll do it over here. So if we take the partial of z with respect to x, so here's z. So the derivative of cosine is negative sine, so it's going to be negative sine. We leave the inside untouched for now, and then we use the chain rule. Now, when we're taking the derivative with respect to x, we treat all of the c's as constants. So the derivative of 4x is 4, but then the derivative of 4ct is 0, right? Because all the, sorry, I think I said c's, all the t's are constants. So t is constant, and so is c. c is also constant, but we're treating the t's as constants, so that derivative is 0. So let's go ahead and rewrite this. So del z del x is equal to negative 4 sine 4x plus 4ct. Now we have to do it again. So taking the second derivative, taking the derivative one more time with respect to x. The negative 4 hangs out, and this time the derivative of sine is just cosine. So we get cosine 4x plus 4ct. And then t is a constant, and so is c. <laughs> so the derivative of 4ct is 0, and the derivative of 4x is 4. So here we get 4 times 4, so negative 16, cosine of 4x plus 4ct. Beautiful stuff. So this is going to be part of the right-hand side of the equation. All right, let's go ahead and rewrite what we have. So let me use a different color to verify. Let's use uh, green. So thus, so the left-hand side is this. So negative 16 c squared cosine 4x plus 4ct. So we're just verifying. So that's the left-hand side. That's this. Equals. And we have c squared. And then we have this piece here, right? So that's going to be negative 16 cosine 4x plus 4ct. 
And these are the same thing, right? Because this is the same as this, right? You just put the negative 16 in the front and everything works. So we have verified. I hope this video uh, was helpful. Thanks for watching.